question one, got a nice little exponential model there about fish and the weed in a pond. And it says, let's find out at the start. Of course, the start is at t equals zero. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a equals 105, take away 12, e to the zero. Of course, we know that e to zero is one. So I've got 105, take away 12, which is 93. Um, surprisingly, for the one mark, the very first mark, we actually need the unit in here as well. So it's 93 meters squared. Next, it wants to know how long will it take for the weed to go to 40. So I'm going to put the 40 where the A is now. 40 equals 105 minus 12 e to the 0.08t. And now we're going to solve this equation. So taking away the 40 and adding the 12 e to the 0.08t to both sides. And we're going to get 65 there. Um, then divide by the 12, get rid of the e by learning, and divide by the 0.08. And when we work through all of that, that finds out that the time is going to be 21.1 days. Of course, you might be worried about your logs, so you bring up your calculator to check this. We can type the equation in like that, and of course we can just do a shift solve to see what happens, and it gives us very quickly 21.1, the same as we had there. Um, part C, um, it says something's going to happen at 30 days, explain why I should not use the model. So let's find out what's going to happen at t equals 30, a equals 105 minus 12e e to the 0.80 times 30. And when you tap all of that in, it gives you a negative area, a equals minus 27. So therefore, not appropriate uh, because the area cannot be less than zero. The area cannot be negative. So a nice question one, you'd expect to get all six marks. You'd be annoyed at yourself if you forgot the units there. 